Hello, my name is Yvette Fernandez. I'm the senior biologist with the Sea Turtle Conservation Program at Clearwater Marine. We are live from the aquarium to celebrate Sea Turtle Awareness Day. Our main mission at CMA is the rescue, rehabilitation, and release of marine animals, including sea turtles. Since 2010, our team has monitored over thousands of nests. So in honor of Sea Turtle Awareness Day, we participated in a special beach cleanup around Pier 60 on Clearwater Beach this morning, and we collected 102 pounds of trash. While we're not gathering together this year for an in-person event that we have done in previous years, we would like you to go out there today and tomorrow and pick up some trash. that you uploaded into your social media, Facebook or Instagram, using the MA Cleanup for an opportunity to be entered into one of our special giveaways. So you know what that means? It means that our nest is just for honor. Our team monitors turtle nests in Pinellas and in Pinellas County is April 15. As this critical time approaches, we would like to remind you fans of the importance of protecting endangered sea turtle species. And to do that, we have pre prepared a nesting trivia. Let me know if you're excited to play because I am. So we have those questions in the comments below. So let me know when you start typing. I'm going to the first. So the first question is, what? of sea turtle nest on Pinellas County. Let's find out the answer. Water Marine Aquarium patrols approximately 21 miles of beach along north and mid Pinellas County. We primarily document loggerhead sea turtle nesting activity on our beaches, but on rare occasions have also observed activities from Kent's Ridley or Green Sea Turtles. Loggerhead sea turtles have characteristically large heads and muscular jaws used to cut through shells of whelks, conks, and clams. Their carapace, or top shell, is reddish-brown and can reach up to 375 pounds. Hatchlings vary in colors in tones of gray or brown and weigh less than an ounce. Did you guess the loggerhead sea turtle? So 99% of our nests in our county are from loggerhead sea turtles. So let's move to our second question. What can sea turtle face when they come to the beach? So again, what obstacles can sea turtle when they come to the beach to nest? Let's find out that answer. When a nesting sea turtle comes up onto the beach to lay her eggs, a few things can disrupt her. Beach chairs, umbrellas, beach toys, sand castles, or large holes in the sand can all cause a sea turtle to return to the ocean without laying her eggs. These items can also interfere with hatchlings navigating to the ocean. When a sea turtle comes up on land and does not lay her eggs, it is called a false crawl. This disruption in nesting is stressful to the turtle and can cause her to choose a less ideal location to lay her eggs. So remember to take your items with you after a day at the beach. So who, who would have thought that a simple sandcastle would create an instruction, obstruction for our sea turtles out there? So make sure you leave before you end the day. So moving into our third question, how does lighting affect sea turtle hatchlings on their way to the ocean? I'm gonna repeat it again, so I'll give you some time to answer. Light and affect sea turtle hatchlings, or baby sea turtles, and their way to the ocean. Okay, ready to find that answer? Under natural conditions, hatchlings use brightness from celestial lights, like the moon and the stars, as a guide to the water. Artificial lights from buildings, street lights, or other mine maintenance structures compete with celestial lights, confusing the turtles and causing them to crawl away from the water and towards potential danger. The newly hatched turtles can mistakenly crawl towards things like roadways, parking garages, and pools, which greatly reduces their chances of survival. The 
be adjustable, turn off unnecessary lights uh, for, for, in order to help those hatchlings survive. And our last question is how many uh, sea turtles, baby turtles, did our team record it last year during our 2021 nesting season? Again, I'm going to repeat the question to give you more time. So how many hatchlings or baby sea turtles did our team record it during our nesting season? Type us that answer in the comments. In 2021, 281 nests were observed, yielding over 8,000 sea turtle hatchlings. It is estimated that only one in a thousand sea turtle hatchlings. Clearwater Marine Aquarium starts monitoring for nesting season, April 15th through October 31st. Our dedicated team of volunteers, staff, and interns patrol the beach just before sunrise, seven days a week. We search along the high tide line for evidence of sea turtle nesting, namely crawl tracks left behind by the nesting females. Once these tracks are located, we mark the nests and collect various measurements from the nest site in order to properly monitor it throughout the season. Through these efforts, our team is dedicated to an endangered species for all future generations. Over 8,000 hatchlings out of a, a thousand hatchlings can survive to be an adult. That's why our work is so important. I do want to thank you for taking the time to questions. If you learned something new, please let me know in the comments. Also, other ways that you can help us today. You can become an ambassador and donate to receive a special items, like a commemorative Sea Turtle Awareness Day t-shirt. Uh, we also have a special Sea Turtle bracelet and a cute uh, Sea Turtle uh, animal in a stretcher. So you can also make it a bundle and get all of them. You can go to our link at seaturtleawarenessday.org. Again, seaturtleawarenessday.org. We'll be posting that link in the comments so you can go ahead and help us with our work. Also, you can protect a sea turtle na I'm sorry, a sea turtle nest by purchasing a protect the nest plaque, which is running at a discounted of dollars until April 10th. We're going to learn a little bit more of our Protect the Nest program with our senior biologist, Paul Jacobs. Hi, I'm Paul. I'm a biologist with the Sea Turtle Conservation Program. And if you want to help our turtles in this area, you can give a small donation and get a Protect the Nest plaque on one of these nests. So we'll actually attach it to an individual nest, take pictures of it, and at the end of the season, we'll send you this plaque in the mail so you can hang it in your home, and you'll actually get the results of that nest, whether it was successful or not. And if you're wondering how the plaque looks, this is how it looks and this is how we put it in one of our sticks. You get the opportunity to personalize it. You can write who the nest is adopted by and a personal message. And again, I do want to remind you that you can just simply go out there today and help us collect some trash. It doesn't matter where you are. You can go to your local park, beach, neighborhood. And remember to upload a photo of your cleanup into social media pages, Instagram or Facebook, using the hashtag CMA Cleanup. Again, the hashtag is CMA Cleanup in order to be entered into our special giveaway, which will be one of those Protect the Nest plaques. And however you choose to celebrate with us today, know that you are making the difference in the lives near and far. So thank you so much for tuning in. Muchas gracias and happy Sea Turtle Awareness Day.